Well, hello, everyone. How are you today? Today's design, as you can see, is going to be polka dots. Um, I have an outfit that is um, basically black background with the white polka dots, and it has a yellow belt. So I thought I'd make my accent nail be um, yellow with black dots. So in, say, in honor of your time, I went ahead and, and did most of my fingers, and I'll show you how to do this one. The supplies you'll need is, um, if you're using natural nails, um, you want to make sure that you put on a base coat that's a strengthener. I prefer Nail Life. I've been using it for years, and it really has grown my nails. It strengthens them, and it's a nice top coat. And then next, I apply the Orly Bonder. There's a few different bonders out there, but I prefer this one. And what it does is it um, balances your pH so that the polish will stay longer. Um, you can wear it almost as long as the enhancement. And then there's a couple of you, thank you again, that um, purchased the JT uh, Paint with JT kit. And you're going to use tonight your brush number five out of your kit. And um, the colors you want to choose are, of course, black, white, and then yellow. And for those that don't have the kit and you want to pick them up on your own, pick these products up on your own, we're using Afro Barrel, the lemon, the white, and the black. And you want to already kind of go ahead and get your palette prepared. I'm no longer drinking coffee store, uh, store-bought coffee, so I don't have the plastic tops that I used to use. But this works just as well. You know, we tend to have to find a way. So the first thing we want to do, like I said, is, you know, you want to have freshly manicured nails, and you want to put on your base coat. And um, your bonder. And now what we're going to do is just go ahead and draw our, um, what would you call this? Follow our uh, cuticle, our free edge. That's what it is. Sorry, it's been a while. I have so much going on today. And um, I prefer to use the acrylic paints. They dry the fastest. So now we have our, our French. And with this particular brush, it's much easier to uh, draw our line. Uh, and definitely you want to turn your fan the opposite way. So you're not blowing everything each way. And you can look at it and see, you know, how you perfect it. I want it to come up just a little more on the side, so I'm just turning my nail to make sure I can make that happen. And then I'm just pulling the rest of the paint down. And so now I have, oops, let's see. There we go. So now it's a little more oval. And um, you might want to have something handy next to you to clean your brush. Um, I have uh, acetone, although water would work too because it's the acrylic paint. And like I said, you want to let it dry. And then next, what we're going to do is use our dotting tool. Now this is something, ladies and gentlemen, that you could pick up. Um, I can um, ship it to you. Just put in the comments that you need a dotting tool. But you can almost, you know, we create things. You can use a pin head um, from just, you know, a regular straight pin that has the ball on the edge. Um, you could use uh, the end of a paper clip. You know, depending on how large you want your circles. 
Um, the dotting tool has two different sizes. Tonight we're going to use the smaller end. When I made the ring, I used the larger, the larger end. So now, as you can see, our um, nail is dry. There's no more sheen that lets us know it's dry. And we're going to put our dots on. You want to do it symmetrically. So we're going to just start down the center. Oops, I've got some on my... Got to be really careful because you don't want to get the paint all over you. And I definitely don't want it all over my laptop. So we're going to turn it in this direction. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And um, I hope, I think you're still in frame. And what we're going to do is just go symmetrically down, leaving some space. And you want to try and have um, your dots uh, uniform, which um, requires that you put the same pressure. And go all the way to the end. And so the next one would be like in between here, but over. So we're going to do that. And the same thing with the other side. Of course, you know, you could just go across there in between. And my nails, uh, you know, depending on the size of your nails, how far you, how many rows you might be able to do. And there we have it. Uh, let's see, one could go right about there. Yeah, and there we have it. And so now we're going to let this dry and do our top coat. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a coffee top, although that is the best, I think, that was a suggestion by Robin Moses, you could always just use foil. You could use the cardboard index. Um, cardboard piece of paper. You could use a um, suit. You could use so many things. You, I even used a pizza top once uh, before and um, we want to make sure our brush is clean and go ahead and put that back away. And um, lastly, we want to go ahead once it's dry you really want to make sure that it's dry because otherwise you'll um, spread your dot. And this is how my ring came out to match the end. So I'm going to go ahead and, as we say, put a ring on it. It's an adjustable band. And that's our, our design for this week. I hope you decide to try it. I'm going to wait just until this nail is completely dry before I put my top coat on, but you'll see it reflected in the thumbnail. I want to thank you for watching. Um, I will be having a class, and the class is completely free. You'll just want to purchase the kit, which involves all of the primary colors I don't have all of them out, just the ones that we use. But all of the primary colors, which is um, your red, black, uh, yellow. I think that's in uh, green, I believe. And um, you get a pack of brushes. Now, a striping brush is a specialty brush. And so the kit does not include that. But as far as detailing and painting large uh, areas and using specific designs, it'll be great for our class. We'll be learning how to do various um, symbols and strokes and techniques so that you can just use your imagination along with your talent and uh, really rock it out. It's a relaxation exercise 
it enforces self-love and your ability to do things on your own. I really like having you do natural versus having the products on your nails. And now we're just going to go ahead and uh, top coat these. And because um, I yeah, did the, the dots all the way to the end, you want to make sure that you seal your end and your sides. And for better maintenance, pick up a bottle of this Nail Life. And um, you can find it at your local Sally's. And uh, occasionally I, I order in bulk. And I could give it to you at a better price. So, thank you for watching. This is our design for this evening. Our polka dot with a yellow accented nail with a ring on it. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And you matter.